Welcome back to another video. We're going to try out the enhanced autopilot feature today. I've heard a lot of horror stories on online, online forums saying it doesn't work or people having issues with it. So we're going to give it a go today. We're going to try some motorways and also try it around a busy town and see how it copes. So let's get going. So it's a Sunday afternoon. And we'll just go into the lane there. So it's one tap down for cruise control. This is the one that keeps the distance from the car in front. To adjust the distance, you use the right scroll ball, you go one to seven car lengths. Motorway to keep it two. To engage autopilot, another one down, two. And you'll get a warning saying keep, keep your hand on the wheel. Uh, it's asking me to change lane. I will when it's clear. You'll see the the blue line in front indicates it's navigating an autopilot, so now it's free, so it's saying indicate and it will move across into the faster lane. sticking at 70. If we pass the slower vehicle on the left here it should encourage us or indicate or suggest we move into the other lane. So there. That's, hasn't done it that one. The motorway is fairly busy today. You can override the. Let's see, there it's going into fast lane to move us a bit further forward. That's okay. You can accelerate. With navigate and autopilot, it should indicate at the next exit where we're getting off 6.1 miles, 6 miles now. So it will indicate the junction we are exiting at and it gives you I think it's sort of a few hundred feet to slow down and for you to take over uh, and it disengages autopilot as well so we'll test that as well and then we'll test autopilot around a busy town as well although it's not really designed for country roads or busy towns it's really for dual carriageways and motorways where the lanes are generally reasonably straight, no sharp bends. But again, no issues, it's a busy motorway, it's Sunday afternoon. It's keeping a good distance, so three lanes away. It's just doing its thing. So it's Registered I'm on the fourth lane, which is fine. 0.3 miles. And it knows we need to get off here, so we'll see what it does. It should indicate and steer off the motorway. And it's indicated and it's steering off. I've not indicated and I'm not steering. Now there it didn't know. <laughs> There it didn't know the lane goes into one, so I'm going to take over now. I'll go back the other way. So when you have two lanes, uh, when you come off the motorway, it doesn't read the, the lanes. Are. We'll have a drive around the town as well, see how it copes with traffic, and then we'll go back up the motorway again. So we're at 30 now, 30 mile an hour limit. Or 
also doesn't register traffic lights either, so that's reading the road signs fine. It's taking us to North Bar Street. So again, just keeping an eye on the traffic. traffic to see what it does. Again, I want to go in that lane really, so I wasn't sure which lane to go into. Let's disengage that. Nothing like that. Nope. <laughs> Auto steer, temporarily unavailable. I wonder why. No, I'm not interested. So in towns it's not really designed to cope with all the obstacles and things going on, but you, if you're careful, you can use it. This takes a while to... So I'm going to go around the roundabout here. Again, you won't know which lane to go in, so I'm going to override it. And we'll go around the roundabout. Let's disengage cruise control. And we'll go around the roundabout. Anyone knows where I'm filming? Then drop it in the comments. There we go. <clears throat> so we'll go back down the motorway. See how we get on. Yeah, we need a little tug, it's fine. So you can still do it. So you indicate a little turn or nudge of the wheel. Let's go out of here, or nudge to the right. Another lorry on the left. So I hope that was useful, a little test of an enhanced autopilot on the motorway and also around some busy towns. Uh, the motorways were fairly busy so it was a good real life test. Uh, I should do some more when it's dark and in rain to see how it copes as well. But I hope you found that useful. Have you had problems with enhanced autopilot? Drop them in the comments below, let me know what issues you've had. If you haven't, also let me know, uh, it's always nice to hear when things go well. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the content and you're liking the channel, please consider uh, subscribing to it so I can uh, create more content for you. Uh, and if you enjoy this video, please like and comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.